Rob, where are we? What are we doing? Well, you tell me, Joe. I've heard legends. Legends. Legends and myths about this, this venue. This little tiny river. Apparently, and you've promised me, a two pound roach. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, we've heard stories. We've heard rumours, haven't we, recently? We've heard rumours of two pound roach, but we've heard that there's quite a few roach chub in this little tiny little stream. Oh, look, think, there's one just up there. Yeah. I think, <laughs> you know what, I think. We're going to catch some fish here. Yeah, I think we are. So what what we wanted to do, right, I've been watching no end of Passion for Yeah, Andy. all you've done is right. gone mad on Passion Basically, for Basically, I want to bring my daughter up, right, so obviously I'm introducing her to Passion for Angling from a young age. Yes. And I was watching the big roach You're one. turning into a special angler, the big, No, just the big roach You've one. not shaved for a couple of days, not so shaved. you get into the special I'm eating beans, I'm, I'm, I'm a special angler, but I'm, <laughs> so I want to I channel... I want to get my gear out, I want to get my gear out. I want to yeah. channel my inner Passion for Angling. Yeah. So I've got bread mash, I've got stick floats, I've got bread. And we're trying to catch a big roach in this tiny little river, aren't we? Another one top there. The only, my only concern is there's some little That wasn't, fish. that wasn't a little fish there. No, no, it was a nice fish that was. Look, if I catch a roach over a pound today, be a I'll be over the moon. The fish is stick floats, another little fish top. There's loads of them top <laughs> Um If I catch a roach over a pound today, I'll be buzzing. If I catch a chub, I'll be buzzing. Anything that falls anything, back, anything. trotting a stick float down a little river, mm. is beautiful. Now, everyone will complain. No, not everyone. A few people will complain at the bottom of our videos. Oh, it's all about carp. It's all about hybrid food. It's all about this is, this couldn't be fair pellets, from it, pellets, it. commercial fisheries. This is as far away from that as possible. It's and great, isn't it? I can't it's, wait. It's great. This, so this, probably like you, this is how I was brought up fishing. Yeah, little rivers, canals, that sort of thing. This is just yeah, minimal gear. I cannot wait to go. Get going. Minimal gear. Oh, it's a bit. It's a bit. It's not quite jungle warfare. So it's a little bit. It would be in the summer. It, yeah, it would be in the summer. But obviously, you can get a box in maybe, and you can. Yeah, you've gone a bit more boxy, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, look, there's another one just top there. I know, yeah. Maybe I'm going to have to go get a keep net. You might have to get a keep net, yeah. Have you got a keep net? Yeah, I've got one in the bank. Okay. I'm not going to put it in until I catch a two-pounder. I don't want to scare, <laughs> yeah, my, I don't want to scare my two-pounder away. Right. Let me get some gear out, because I'm, I'm itching yeah. to go. All right. but, um, I'm going to go get set up. I but I've given you first dibs on the peg, haven't I, look? Yeah, you have, yeah. Quite on it, let's be honest. So, that's it, that's what we're doing here. We're going to try and catch a roach, hopefully a massive one. But if not, if not, we'll have a lovely day. We'll anyway. have a lovely day. There's fish here, without a doubt. So, you know, we're going to have a lovely day, whatever happens, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Right, so this roach fishing session, because I am channeling my inner passion for angling, I thought I'm going to catch some big roach, or some roach, on this little river, and I've got to go with bread. They always seem to catch them on bread. Mash bread, I seem to remember. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I've just been to the shop and got some clearance bread 57p a loaf look but i've also got a decent mini loaf for the uck so i'm fancying feeding a bit of mashed bread and then using the it's probably like decent sized punches 8 10 12 mil punches of uh, toasty so uh, obviously i've also got the option of putting a bit of flake on the hook so what i'm going to do is bosh this in there hang on give it a nice long soak So, all that bread in there. And I'm just going to soak it for like the morning, really. In there. I've not done a lot of bread mash fishing, but what I do know is you've got to get it nice and soaked. So, what I'm going to do is leave that in there for a few hours. Let that take in all that water. It's already looking good anyway. We can get rid of some of the excess water in a bit, but I'm going to leave that in there for a bit. And then got the option of also adding some I've got some really nice coarse brown crumb the old toasty brown which might might be able to add that to the mash as well but for now that's what I'm going to do bait wise I think Rob might go down a different route but you know for the nostalgia's sake this is what I'm going to do bread mash for feed feeding small little balls into the river and then a nice bit of toasty on the hook so Hopefully it'll work, but I'll leave that to soak and then we'll come back and uh, see what we do with it on the next stage in a few hours. Okay, so the bread has had four hours to soak. Probably ready after an hour, but I just left it to soak while I carried on doing what I was doing. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get rid of some of this excess water. Um, so what I've done, I've put it on a six mil riddle. See that? And all the water is coming through there. I want a bit of water in my mix, but not that much. So I'm just lightly pressing it, just getting rid of the water. 
And then what I'm gonna do, all this, these bigger lumps now, I'm just gonna push it through the riddle, but into this bucket here. So we're getting rid of all that excess moisture, which I think, so I'm just gently pressing, not pushing the bread through, but just getting rid of that water, because there's loads in there. Some of that off the top. See it all there running off. So I'm happy with that. That gives me. There's still loads in there. Amazing how much water the bread takes on. So I just push get rid of that excess. I always remember the old my old mate Paul Newell showed me this trick at Tunnel Barn, but he used to use an old keep net and wring it out. Same sort of thing really, I could probably just leave that there for a little while, but I'm happy with that. There's plenty of moisture removed now. It's quite heavy. I'm gonna put that on that one. As you can see, look at all that liquid. Let's, I bet that's a three litre tub, I bet I can fill that. Look at that. It's amazing. So what I'm gonna do, push that through the riddle. So I don't really want the really big bits. I just want a nice sort of smooth bread mash. Now I'm fishing for roach after all, not chub. Although if chub come along. See why I'm always freezing. Swap hands. Go through there, so easy. And that's it, I think. It's going to be my feed for the session. Small balls of this, and then, like I say, a nice piece of Warburton's. Now, I'm not 100% sure with what I'm faced with tomorrow, so I don't know what the depth is. I assume it's just a shallow little river. Look at that. What roach is going to be able to resist that? Beautiful feed. Look at that. That's got to be perfect for roach, that. Nice bread mash. But if it's a bit, if it's a bit deeper than I'm anticipating, I've also got some coarse brown crumb, toasted brown, which is essentially all the, it's just rough bits of bread. So I reckon I could add a bit of this to small amounts of this and just thicken it up a little bit. But for me, I think that is going to be perfect. Look at that, that looks so good. So that's it, that's the bread mash. Can't wait to go fishing tomorrow now. Well, I am in my first peg of the day, should we call it. Rob's snuck down there into the bridge hole, gives a wave, Rob. There he is in the bridge hole, just it's a very misty, foggy morning. Now I've just gone in this little run here, which, nice tree above me. A yeah, lovely sort of glide. I'm already just getting a bit of bread mash and just putting a little bit in, just down the middle of the river to start with and see what happens. But there's a pole rig packet there, which suggests to me that people have been fishing this little area. So there must be some fish here. Um, just going to set a little stick float up. Got my bread. Hopefully we catch some fish. Rob says he saw a fish top. So good signs, of course. So you never know. If we catch, some, if we catch anything, I'll be happy. But you never know if we can find a big roach what an amazing amazing session so i'm gonna get set up now and then uh, hopefully we'll see you with a nice big roach okay so a quick word on me setup i've got a 13 foot superior float rod it's a three to ten gram one so lovely and light beautiful i hope for a nice roach got a lovely tippy action and i've got a 320 magnitude a nice light reel that's loaded with 014 mono, a new float fishing line that we might be bringing out. But yeah, 014 mono. So, couldn't actually find any stick floats, as bad as that is. Um, I couldn't find them anywhere in my kit. So I'm gonna have to go and rob one of them. Rob. So, let's go and uh, rifle one out of his box while he's not looking. How are we doing, Rob? I'm loving it. Have you seen the fish top? I'm loving it. Yeah, I've seen one top about four metres downstream. Level with where my camera is, hmm. about there. 
It wasn't a little fish either. Wasn't it? No, it wasn't a top. It wasn't it a big. Was, yeah, fish, it, but it the, wasn't. It was like a chunky little roach. Yeah, chunky roach. Well, the it bank. Looks good, don't it? It looks, it nice. looks really good. Can't wait. Right, I'm going to rifle a stick plate off you. Yeah. I've got some beautiful stick plates. What we got? Look at this. Do you want to look? I need some rubbers as well. Well, ha. Huh, that's another issue. Mm. I think what you're going to have to do. Look, I made these for like big, bigger baits. Beautiful. Um, I don't think we need that, do we? No, I don't think you need that, but. There's obviously, you've got old school. I've seen, look at them John Allerton beauties. Yeah. You've got something that's going to be for a oh. bit bit more turbulent water. When you're talking Wait, so old school, look, look. Oh my Dave God. Thomas. Dave Thomas. <laughs> Rob Wharton, you're just a commercial angler. Look at this. John Never Allerton. That. that could be the one today, you know. Yeah. Five number fours. The old midi look. Midi. Look, this is even a Preston Waggler in there, look. Yeah, pellet Waggler, yeah. Unbelievable. There you go. Even older John Allison. Wow. Beautiful float, that is. That's so, cool. just catching fish on these floats would be lovely. Yeah. What do you want, then? Which one do you want? I don't know. Just that, that's something at five number four ish, four number fours. You want something like that? Something like that. Three do. number fours. It'd do, yeah. Even beautiful. better. It'll, it'll spot a nice piece of bread, I reckon. Even better. Right, we need to find some rubbers, then. Right. I've got some hollow elastic cut up let me just show you so take a bit of that and it'll I fit on scissors hang on, hang on okay take a rubber there's there's what top one there's my rubber got my rubber and then what do you want some a rubber for the stem yeah let's just see if that fits okay perfect beautiful We've thank done. you very much there you go. okay so i'm set up i've got it's actually a bit deeper than I thought. It's about four foot. Just plumbed it up. Just give it a real rough plumb up. Um, just going to touch bottom. So what I've got, I've got my bread mash that I showed you. I've stiffened it up a bit actually. I did put a bit of brown crumb with it. So I can always add a bit of water if I need to. But um, fundamentally it's quite sticky. So we're just throwing small balls of that into the middle of the river. I think that'll be nice. And then I've just got a variety of different punches in there. Um, just to give myself a few options. I'm going to start with an 8 mil just to try and hopefully catch a few fish, but just punch it out. I think that'll be a real nice update for these. I'm going to give it a squeeze because I don't think these are going to be fussy fish at all. It's more about finding them, I think, on a river like this. But I'm just going to get ready now. I'm going to set the camera up so you can see what's going on. And hopefully we'll catch a few fish. So I've already had a bit of a change of plan. Um, I had three runs through and caught three rope, which is brilliant. But it's not what I expected. I thought we'd be fishing for a few big fish. It didn't look great to start with. But using that eight mil cup. It's pretty clear that there's a lot of rope here. Um, so I've gone and got myself a keep net. And what I'm going to do might be a case of catching quite a lot of rope. Um, but we might find a bigger specimen, you never know. But we've only just started, and uh, there's lots of fish here, it's obvious how many fish are in this little bit. It's amazing, really. Um, nice fish, too. Sort of four ounce rope. Okay. Nice rope. So I'm just gonna go through it for a few hours. Well, not a few hours, but you know, keep, keep the feed going in. You never know, you might catch a better one. But at the minute, there's roach everywhere. Okay, so the fishing is incredible, really. Um, catching, catching roach every run through. Um, it's a lot different to what I thought it would be. There's obviously loads of fish in this little river. Um, I don't know. Mostly like that sort of size, a couple of ounces.
Love the fishing on a stick fly though. Our back to basics road fishing has uh, been good. Getting a bite every chuck in. Just throwing that, still just throwing that bread mash into the river. Piece of bread on the hook, a little six mil fluffy, eight mil actually. Piece of fluffy bread. And the fishing is probably better than I could have imagined ever. Um, there's just roach everywhere. Now, of course, ultimately, we wanted to try and catch a two pound roach, but I've got to be honest, I'm not seeing it here. Um, I'm going to run through a big piece of bread on for a bit and just see if it's going to target a bigger sample. But at the minute, it's not looking like we're going to catch a bigger roach here. There's so many roach in this little river. It's amazing to be honest. But it might just be that we have to move. I've been told about another stretch a little bit further down where there's not so many roach, but they're a bit bigger. Um, so you never know, that might pay off. I'm not complaining, we're catching a fish every truck in on the stick flow, you know, it's beautiful. Right, I'm going to go have a little chat with Rob, because I think we might be on for a move because it's just roach soup. Now this is where the pike keeps striking. Let's see if we can see him. Right in amongst this. See Rob's fishing in plum, plum on bridge peg. Let's see him in action for a minute. He's got a way more serious setup than I have. Come on Rob. Talk me through it. Go and get here, so. Hey, oh, this is a new towel. That one's a lovely towel, isn't it? <laughs> right. Come on. What's the plan then? Because. It's not happening, is if it? If I wanted to do this sort of fish and I'd go to the town well and it's folding. But it's solid with fish. It's a beautiful place to Another come. guy from fishing here. But it's not what we've um, come not to do, is really it? Really, what we've come to do, is no. it? No. And we've got the wrong gear for this. I imagine if I brought a, just a little two meter whip. Oh, you'd catch so many, wouldn't you? You'd catch so many, yeah. Um, no. Little pecker. Little tiny, little tiny rope. So mm. what do you think? Obviously you've just spoke to that bloke. This spoke to a chap just come along and had a little natter, nice yeah. guy. And he, he recommended, he says there's a spot further upstream that we could go, give a, and have a little go and try and catch some. Not as many fish, but hopefully some better ones. Yeah, well, that's what I want to do. I want to catch some better fish. Yeah. I want to go somewhere. So he he actually said people come here and catch seventy pounds. Seventy, 70 pounds of roach. That's unreal. Um, and I think we could put together a really big weight of roach today if we wanted to. We could. I, if if I was if obviously with the gear we've got, I think what I'd do is I'd just tie the line to the end of my rod, <laughs> and I wouldn't. I'd just fish it as a whip because there's that many fish here. I can't believe how many fish there are to be no, honest. No, but obviously it just shows that on these rivers, any sort of structure, obviously we've got the Wigsteed Park there. Just there, yeah. That's probably the nearest thing to um, to, to a bit of shelter that these fish have got. Mm. They travel for miles and miles in the winter to find a bit of shelter from obviously predation. We've had a good day. Plenty of bread is missing. They travel miles and miles to get away from predation. And there and are spots sort of like this all over the country, aren't there? These little, all these little things. You go on, you go in Lincoln on some of the drains and some of the dikes there. And you know, literally, I reckon, you know what, Joe? In my slightly younger days, I reckon I could have jumped. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon could've, I could do this. I'm going to use the phrase again. Channeled you in a Jonathan Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon I could jump this. So, 
it is a tiny little stream, isn't it? Amazing, really. And, yeah. and I'm like, getting bites all the way down. These fish are tiny. There's, you know. Look, there's fish, that was a decent fish there. Yeah. Just popped up. So we're going to have a move. We're going to have a little wrap up. Do you think we ought to walk up this stretch? Go on, have a go somewhere further up. Oh, and have a go further. Yeah, why not? We're already here, aren't yeah. we? How you doing, mate? All right. Okay, so we've had a bit of a move, and we've found another little spot, a bit further upstream, and. This is it. We've got a nice little sort of run here that goes under the bridge. You can just see Rob down there in the distance. He's round that bend in the, what can only be described as the armchair peg. I've been told there's a few, few fish here. I don't think it's going to be like the other spot. I think we're going to be have to fish here a bit more like normally. It's a bit, a bit ridiculous down that other place, but I'm going to have a little go anyway. It's much shallower here. It's only two and a half foot deep probably, so. You never know, we might catch a chub or a roach, anything. Anything will be good here, but we'll give it a go. That one. Nice fish, biggest one of the day. Still nothing like what we hope to catch, but. Lovely fish all the same. That guy's nice fish. Look at that beauty on the bread. Lovely fish. This is already loads better than the other place. It's nice stuff. So we're on this new spot and it's just the same as the last one as in there's fish everywhere. Can't believe how many roach there are in this tiny little river. The difference is they are bigger, they're nice fish to catch them but um, sort of four, six ounce roach, lovely fish. So this is like nice fishing now. They were a bit small at the last place so I don't think we're going to catch a big one, but it's nice fish in the garden. Even the small ones here are chunky fish. Not gone with a keep net this time, just fishing a 8 mil punch. Just putting small balls of the mashy bread in. Catching loads of fish. 
amazing. Like I thought the fish was at that end of the river just because of the structure and stuff, but even here in the, I wouldn't say the wilderness, but you know, we're probably a mile away from where we were fishing before. And the roach are still here in numbers, so amazing really. I don't know if Rob's catching yet, I think he probably is. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give this some a couple of hours I think, because it looks really nice. There's some nice pegs further up that way that look good as well. Got sort of earmarked to have a go with. Nice fishing this is. Really enjoyable. Bit of flow here as well, so I missed it so it's going through nicely. Bit of a few boils, but there. Yeah, not massive but Lovely fishing. I don't think I've ever seen a river with so many roach and not this sort of river anyway. It must be full of them. Just sort of easing the float through. Lovely rod this is, it's super. Probably could have swung in but no need to make. Lovely fish that. Fishing is amazing. Just sort of slowing that bread down. Just when I think there's a definite killing zone on this peg. Sort of in line with a tree down there. And just run it down there and then just slow it right down. Just trapping the line against the spool with my finger. And they're having it as soon as I sort of stop it. Beautiful action. Can I do with the snags? Belted. Look at him. What a lovely fish on this tiny little river. fishing gets me better than that to be honest well guys I've had an amazing day's fishing um, not the day I was expecting 
thought we'd be catching loads of great big roach, but that's not happened. But anyway, it doesn't matter because come to this little bit here, this tiny little swim. You can see tiny little river. I'm sat down on the mud. I'm nearly run out of bait now, so I've got to. Uh, I'm about ready to call it a day, but this little swim here has been amazing. I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. I've literally been feeding. This is that bread mash that we've prepared in my garden. But I did add some of that brown crumb to it just to make it sticky. And I'm glad I did, because if you watch, it lets off a bit of a cloud, but the ball actually gets pretty much to the bottom. So what I've been doing is throwing it in that sort of down there and then I'm catching my fish down there. It just gives me a chance to get the float going through nicely. Just using that. And I've been either using a eight mil disc of bread on the hook or just a couple of maggots. To be fair, maggots have been it's been good here because there's not so many small fish but the fishing's been fantastic i'm just going to run run the float through a couple more times but yeah that's that's as simple as it is like i say i've nearly run out of bread now so i'm gonna have to go home sadly but there you go what a great little session here on the beautiful little river river eyes certainly hasn't let us down in terms of bites but I'm just going to, uh, like I say, run it, run it through one more for a few more minutes. Just get rid of the rest of that bread, and that's it. But what a great session! So I've come to the end of the session now. On this cracking little bit of river, I've nearly run out of bait. So I'm going to try and eat that couple more fish. That's probably this is probably it, the last ball. I certainly like that today. The more I've fed, the better it's got. Fishing has been amazing. Certainly in this bit, it's been a better fish. Down at the other end, they're a bit small, really, for what we were trying to do. But here, perfect. Had a much sort of eight ounces. Real nice fish. Catch on this sort of float tackle. Oh, yes, here we go. <laughs> Pulling like hell, this one. Look at that, I've got that in. Yes. And that will end the session beautifully. Look at it. What a beautiful fish on the river eyes. Look at that. Don't get a lot better than that on a stick float. Perfect fish. Well chuffed with that. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm slipping back, pack the stuff up, and I think I'm gonna come again tomorrow.